been a while since I made one of these videos. The, the packages from soccer.com. I think the last one was maybe like two years ago actually. Before I went to Italy. Because I, when I went to Italy, they just we kind of stopped working with each other. And then when I came back, they sent me one pair. And I posted it on Instagram and it did Bruh. really bad. So um, I think they just stopped. But then on, now I'm doing well on TikTok. So they reached out to me actually through TikTok and said, Hey Kai, we have a pair of extremely limited edition cleats. Basically a tease of the upcoming... You'll see what's in the package. I don't even know what they look like, but... It's a, uh, they're size 10, which I think is slightly smaller than what you normally wear, but would you be interested in them? And of course I said, sure. Enough talking. I have no idea what these look like, by the way, but I'm gonna open the box. Look at that, I don't even need scissors. I, I peeped the, look at this packaging, first of all. Can you see, okay, good, you can't see anything. Look at this silver packaging. First edition. Confidential classified content. I'm gonna see what this barcode does when I scan it. Oh shit. Oh, it just brought me into the, the cleats. The all black box too? Okay, okay. I like that. Oh, oh. These look exactly, not exactly, but they look really similar to Predators. Uh, the uh, Adidas Predators. Do they not? They have no New Balance logo on them though. There's no New Balance logo. Oh, well there's one right there, but. That's it. Oh, I actually need one of these. <laughs> I'm, I'm so excited about this, I don't know. They look kind of weird. I feel like on feet they actually won't look too bad. Cause they're like kind of, they got this weird purplish blue color that goes with them, but they're mostly black. So I think they're gonna look mostly black on the feet. And I like, I like all black pleats, so that's nice. I just don't know how they're gonna feel. I think these are the first edition of some new New Balance cleats that they've been testing out. They're trying to go laceless like every other brand is doing. Actually, only Adidas really does that, I think. The back of the cleats looks kind of weird. It's like, it's kind of built like me. Big shout out to Soccer.com for sending these over. They didn't, they didn't ask me to make a YouTube video on it, but... I was scrolling through Instagram earlier and I saw Soccer.com's post about these cleats. And I didn't really know why they were exclusive or limited edition, but I realized it's because they are actually only out for 48 hours, which I'm actually gonna post a video on the day that they come out. So if you guys wanna buy them, they should be out for 48 hours. And apparently also they will be numbered and they'll also have SDC, which stands for soccer.com on them. She gave me top at the red light. <laughs> I'm at the pitch now, I'm gonna finally test these cleats. See what they're like. Hopefully they actually fit too. Because they are a size smaller than my normal size. Let me use this. I forgot how to use one of these, honestly. Oh. Actually, they're actually not even tight. Well, my left foot is bigger than my right. I feel like if I wore them out for a few weeks, they would actually start fitting, but I don't like laceless cleats because my feet are really, are pretty thin and I don't like how they feel. But first thoughts, they actually feel pretty good. They feel like the other laceless cleats I've tried. They don't feel any different to the other ones. I'm gonna start the session off like I always do with a little quick jogging warm up and then some juggling work. But instead of using a size five ball today, I have a size I think two, I don't know, it's a smaller size ball, so it's gonna help me. The left foot does feel a little bit tight on my foot. I wear the same clothes in every video. I need new clothes.
I'm better. To finish the session off, I'm gonna do some shooting. I don't know what it is, but every time I get new cleats, I somehow just go off when I shoot. So expect some bangers. All right, if I hit the crossbar here, then you have to unsubscribe. I think the new strategy is to buy new cleats before every game. As I said before, I'm not a really big fan of laceless cleats. So my opinion on these <laughs> will kind of differ from people that actually wear laceless cleats. But from what I've worn in the past, like the Adidas uh, Predators and stuff like that, they do feel pretty similar to that. When I first got these in the, when I first opened these yesterday, I didn't think they looked that great. But now, I don't know why, I'm, just, I'm actually really starting to like them, especially the sole plate. Like I would say to anyone else, I'd recommend going to the store and trying these out before you actually buy them like you should with any shoe. So make sure you do that if you're considering getting these. Young whopper on your block of eye for the chop. Black shades on in the rave, I feel like Edgar David. Man, you could've got a bag.